Hey everybody! Today I'd like to introduce you to Stacy Tamaki, a Japanese-American artist who uses origami as a way of not only sharing about her culture, but also about her specific worldview on what leads to a happy life. So as you listen to her, please consider the following two questions. How does Stacy Tamaki's Japanese heritage influence her art? And why does she think it's important to focus on the small things in life? All right, here you go. Hi, I'm Stacy Tamaki, and this is my art prize entry, Tiny Gami. I learned origami when I was probably seven years old from my maternal grandmother, and then never really did it for a long time, and then started doing it in this miniature form about 20 years ago and putting together the mobiles. When you make a crane, you normally make this size. You start with a six inch square of paper, and that's standard for origami paper. And then about 20 years ago, I helped make a set of thousand cranes this size for a wedding because they symbolize good luck to the bride and groom at Japanese American weddings. And then after seeing them, because we hung them as a mobile for the wedding reception, and after seeing that I thought it would be neat to be able to keep that out all the time but it would get dusty and damaged. And then I thought, how small would you have to make them to fit them in a display case? And I just kept cutting the paper smaller and kept trying to fold them smaller. The second one is to represent the bonsai, which is the art of creating miniature living trees. And they train them for years. So a tree this size could be over a decade old and it will blossom and flower or bear fruit, you know, whatever the tree is supposed to do. And these are the cranes which symbolize many different things. They symbolize originally longevity because the Japanese believed a crane lived for a thousand years. So the legend was if you folded a thousand cranes, the gods would grant a single wish and then you would wish for good health or a long life was the appropriate thing to wish for. Um, but they also came to symbolize world peace after World War II because of the story of Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, which is a little girl who tried to fold a thousand to wish for her health back after she became sick, and it turned into a very popular children's book. Tiny gestures of kindness are so easy to overlook, but not necessarily all of the time. My name is Stacy Tamaki. I live in Greenville, Michigan, and I'm a miniature origami artist. I faced quite a few skeptics, but I decided to pursue tiny origami as a full-time career. I fold the one and a half inch square into quarter inch high cranes. Quite a few people have told me I have too much time on my hands, which I don't take that personally. I want to create a moment of wonder for people. As long as we embrace imagination, we can embrace the concept of possibilities and be more open-minded in general. Our society embraces the concept of bigger is better, but the miniature size of my art is to encourage people to slow down and appreciate those small things that happen in their day-to-day -day lives. All right, now it's your turn. Please discuss the following two questions in your classes. How does Stacy Tamaki's Japanese heritage influence her art? And why does she think it's important to focus on the small things in life? Share that out with each other and have a great day.